Hi, welcome to Nonshape video tutorial. It's another basic exercise, 7.2, the gelenk kabel or the joint fork. So, let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I need some circles. One right at the origin and the diameter should be 40. Another one over here and the diameter should be 30 and one down below again diameter should be 30. The distance between this one and that one should be 110 and the distance here should be 50. Then I need some lines. Maybe like that. And now add tangency constraints. So this should be tangent, this should be tangent, this should be tangent here as well, like this and that, and this should be tangent to this circle and of course to that circle. Okay, now I can trim. This should be removed, this should be removed, and this should be removed, like that, and like that. And my first sketch is done. Now let's hide this one and look for another, go for another sketch on the top plane. I will use rectangles and I might need a point over here. So let's go for a point or I could go for a plane. Let's go for a point over here. And the distance should be 110. Now, this should be constrained, it is. Now for my first rectangle, another one and another one. They should be all symmetric to that plane, so go for symmetry, this one and that one to this one, this one, that one, again to this one, and this one and that one again. Now add dimensions, so that distance should be 10. This distance should be 20, at least. Now, this one, 80. And that one, 64. Now let's take a look, maybe move this up like that. I need more dimensions, so this one should be 37 and then I need 
some circles but maybe first trim it here okay now that distance here should be 15 then I need two circles let's snap here one and another one like that the distance between these circles and the point here should be 15 and now let's go for tangency this circle and that line here and this circle and that line let's drag this up here and I should be able to trim this looks okay so I want to trim this here this one here and let's take a look this should be trimmed this should be trimmed that should be trimmed seems I've already lost some dimensions okay looks okay but I think that's missing here so let's go for another dimension this should be 15 and that should be fully constrained looks okay finish that sketch here now let's hide those planes and bring back that sketch here okay now let's extrude one of those sketches i want to go for a solid yes it should be symmetric and it should be at least 80 so it would cover that sketch so maybe I go for 100 okay confirm and now I could intersect it with the other sketch or you could go for two solids let's do another extrude now with the second sketch and I want to intersect let's make it again symmetric and it should be at least 100 let's make it 110 no it's not enough so let's go for 150 yeah that's okay and confirm and I've got my basic shape let's hide that sketch I need another sketch on the front plane this will be a circle right there and diameter should be 40 finish that sketch make another extrude now with this sketch here and this should be symmetric and it should be 20 confirm great now I can go for my fillets let's start with the 50 millimeter fillet that would be one on this edge and on that edge confirm 
another fillet with 10 millimeter on this edge and that one confirm now one with five millimeter here confirm and one on this edge with five millimeter and on the other edge with five millimeter and confirm great okay so for the holes i will need points in sketches so let's go for a sketch on that face here and put a point right there finish this sketch next sketch on that surface here again a point and let's see if we can snap yeah confirm another sketch right there again a point let's go to that edge here and then try to snap onto the center there it is finish this sketch and go to the other side over here and do another sketch on this surface another point uh, up here confirm now i can go for my hole tool so let's go to where is it here it's a custom one the first one or i think these are the options or dimensions for those so let's do them first it should be a counterboard one yes 80 millimeter in diameter yes the counterboard diameter is 25 yes the depth is 2.5 and i go for 20 millimeter that should do the trick That would be on this point here and on that point. And confirm. Great. Now for next one, it's a simple one. It should go through and It should be 80 millimeter that's okay so just select this point and select that point and confirm and i'm done so i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment and please subscribe to my youtube channel you could follow me also on instagram Grabcat and Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.